Out in the tropics, there is one area that we've been watching. Notice now it has a higher percent chance of development. It is still Invest 92, but over the weekend, we could see perhaps this become Wanda before it either makes its way into the Carolinas or just moves back off into the open waters. Not a threat to us, but what's kind of interesting is that if this were to become Wanda, that is the end of our storm name. So we are out and we would go to the supplemental list. But as the end NHC has said that we are seeing more storms per season because more are being detected because our technology has gotten a whole lot better. So it just kind of begs the question of should we use more than just 21 names? A reminder, we don't use the letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z. So I went ahead and just had a little bit of fun and made name list. And again, we could easily use U, Q, U, X, Y, and Z. Although, you know, Zachariah, Yanni, and Xerxes may not just roll off the tongue, the names are available. So maybe we ought to expand that out. We're not seeing any kind of organization off the Carolinas right now, but again, more of just the novelty. If this were to become Wanda, we would have the second season in a row where we've run out of names and had to go to a second list. Remember, we no longer use the Greek alphabet. Gulf of Mexico, quiet, as is the Caribbean, so we're not worrying about anything in the near future. And after we get past the midpoint of October, things usually do settle down. Highs could be flirting with around 90 degrees as we get into early next week. Rain chances slow to come back more toward the end of next week. Let's be honest, Chris. I mean, if we can get through Cristobal, Cristobal, Cristobal. Xerxes Z rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it does. I Yanni, like it. I like Yanni. Yanni? Yanni's good. Yanni. All right. Uh, I think you're on to something. All right. Thank you, Chris. My